Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am showing you how to make instant pot oatmeal. So if you're new, my name is Kristen and I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com. And on Mondays, I share an Instant Pot recipe. So if you're new to the Instant Pot or if you're just looking for some more recipes, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and push the bell so you won't miss any of my recipes that I share with you. So one of the top requests are Instant Pot breakfast recipes. Now this one is pretty much the easiest breakfast recipe because it only takes oatmeal and water, that's all. The fun is when you start putting in the toppings. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious pumpkin oatmeal that's healthy and really good. So I have a good friend who also does Instant Pot on, on YouTube. Her name is Karen Peterson and her husband just got diagnosed with cancer. So I'm gonna do a little shout out for her. Go follow her over on YouTube, it's Karen Peterson. She has the blog, 365 Days of Slow Cooker, but she is a master at the Instant Pot and she shares Instant Pot recipes every week just like I do. So go on over to her channel, tell her Kristen sent you and that we love her. So if you're ready, I'll show you how to make some Instant Pot oatmeal. So I'm gonna use the old fashioned oats because they cook the fastest and they're the easiest. So I'm gonna add one cup in here. You can add three or four or however many cups you want. Now the cooking time will be the same, but you just want a double ratio. So if you have one cup of oats, you want two cups of water. Four cups of oats, eight cups of water. All right, so go ahead and mix in your oats so they're all kind of touching or a little bit wet with the water. And that's all there is to it. Yay, go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that the little knob is turned to ceiling, not venting here. Now push the manual or pressure cook button and you're gonna go all the way down to four minutes. So whether you have one cup or eight cups, it will still be four minutes. Now after you set the timer, it's going to beep and say on. That means you're doing it right, so go ahead and walk away. Your Instant Pot will start pressurizing and then once it's done, it will show an L and it will start counting up. Once you have the L, that means it's done. So I'm gonna do a quick release, so I'm gonna turn that knob to venting, and then when all the pressure's out, I can lift up my lid. Then go ahead and mix it up. So this is your base oatmeal. Now I like to take this oatmeal and put it into serving size bowls. Now some of my favorite things to put in the Instant Pot are blueberries and brown sugar. That's like my main go-to. But I'm gonna show you how to do pumpkin. So look at this recipe. So I'm gonna be using canned Pumpkin, it's my favorite. So first I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of brown sugar. Next, about a pinch of cloves. It's about an eighth of a teaspoon. Another eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and then one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Next you're gonna add about a fourth a cup of your pumpkin puree, and you're gonna mix it all together. Now that pumpkin will smooth out because that oatmeal is hot. Now if you're trying to go the no sugar route, you can put agave or any type of other sweetener in there for the brown sugar. Now it takes a little bit of time, but just keep mixing, mix it all together until everything is well combined. Now when it's all the way done, I love to add a little bit of chocolate chips on top. It's like a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie almost. Now in the last video, I told you guys that I was moving. I am still moving. We're building a house in Northern Utah. And I'll be sharing updates on that on my personal Instagram, which is Kristen underscore Six Sister Stuff. It is my personal account, so I do share pictures of my kids and stuff like that. But if you want to follow along with my building of my house, that's where you go. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. I will see you next week.